BIRT Bird Tool Expert we need. BIRT stands for the kind of a studio uh, to studio platform. The integration consultant. So you have to tell them like where you want earnings, where you want deduction. So they'll create a report and then they will call the report into the studio and then they will call the fields, earning field, post tax, pre tax, and they will design it. And then they will export back into the system. That's a completely different topic. But Workday has given a standard template. Okay. Right. So in the template, Workday standard template, you can see here, here they have given the company information. They would like to display company name if anyone would like to take a print, company address, company phone number, payslip information, employee name, employee ID, current period end date, payroll check in date, check payment date. If check number generated, that will help. And then scroll up, scroll down, current and year to date, YTD, year to date. Current this much, year to date, it will display, uh, it will accumulate based on each pay frequency. Pre tax, total pre tax, total employee taxes, total post tax, employee net pay. Now, these values further you can see segregated here. When I say gross is $23,775, what are all components have been included? These are all components together, 23783 In detail, you can see in this section, earning section. Employee taxes here four two six seven. You can see all the employee related taxes. These are nothing but statutory taxes. If you can scroll down, you can see pre taxes, post tax. You can also display employee absence balance. If you can scroll down further, so these are the taxable wages on taxes. If an employee have have any uh, withholdings, allowances, dependent details. And absence data. Total, if you count, it will be seven sections. If you want to hide any of the section, or if you want to overwrite these names, okay, in workday is possible. There is a separate session I will explain in detail. But for now, please remember, if I want to, I don't want to display absence plans data at all. I can hide it, or I can remove the remove these values at all completely. Or I can overwrite the names. That is also possible in Workday. Okay. So as I said, we have a, a separate session called payslip configuration. I will explain that one after payroll process. In detail, I will explain. And then if you want to see view all payslips, print payslip image, or directly you can download or export to the Excel, please play around all these options, please. Okay, and then if you can navigate to the worker, I'd like to explain this also profiles and profile groups. This one is called pay profile, worker pay profile. Worker pay profile. When you search worker pay profile, we will get a visibility of all the payroll related data for this worker. This is called profile. This is called, these are all called profile groups. Profile, profile groups. Okay. In Workday, you have an option to hide profile. You also have an option to hide profile groups as well. I'm going to give one example. Let I will try to hide this pay profile. I'll try to hide this pay profile. How to do that? This is not recommended since payroll is one of the mandatory uh, module, but just for our understanding, I'm running this one. Access the task, configure profile. Search for worker profile. Pay for worker profile and select the value. I mean, 
unselect the checkbox okay now i'm navigating to the same employee we cannot see that well can you see pay here pay tab or pay profile no let me bring the pay profile back profile name select the pay profile enables okay so there are the work day values which one you want to display which one you don't want to display yes or no uh, options so that edits the entire employee that's a good profile. question man. right not for one individual employee impact entire employees in the tenant correct and it's every type of profile it's pay profile it's benefit profile right pay profile will be hidden for all the employees in all countries not for one country so, yeah. okay now the pay tab is back okay now let's talk about try to hide these values again Thing for one employee, it does. It's for you. If I'm hiring one value here, it's for an employee, entire employment again. For example, I want to hide. There is no time tracking implemented. Hide this. So how to do that? Profile groups. Okay. Access the task. Configure profile groups. profile group name mm pay profile right pay for worker profile okay which one you want you don't want to display you just exit take it out Yes, ma'am. Reported yeah. time. We have to remove this value. Yeah. Okay. Go back to the worker. There is no. option reported time okay that quickly i will enable the report time so wherever you would like to add you can add by selecting or i would like to display that is the first value i can select it but it's not recommended because pay slips pay groups should be displayed i will select somewhere next to tax selections so here allowed reports there are options you can display under your pay group i'm sorry payroll tax okay So please explore all these options, please. So I'm gonna select. Oh, uh, what is that? Is field name, A report. Okay. Let's now get to the worker.
Any questions here on reported time? Okay, no problem. I, I, I think you might have go to this recording. So quickly, I will summarize. Today we discussed how to create a payroll input for earning, how to get a payroll uh, input for deduction, loan payment, loan repayment, and a overview, just a walkthrough or overview of payslip sections. Configuration is still pending payslip. And then how to configure profiles, how to configure profile groups. Anyone have any questions? The remaining time we can utilize for questions. Okay, let's do one thing quickly. I'll walk through these steps all and we will okay. hold it. Mm -hmm. Okay, whenever we set the pay tab, here you have pay results where we can access employee results based on the monthly, semi monthly, weekly, or bi weekly. What are the pay frequency? Here you can track the employee pay results. Okay, and here pay slips. Or till six months or one year, you can access the pay slips. Employee pay group data, pay, pay group pay frequency. Employee payment elections, bank payments, or uh, what do you call checking payments, that information will access here. And employee tax selections. After tax configurations, I will explain end to end on this. Federal tax, state tax, local tax, additional tax, if applicable. And time tracking related data, employee ta ta tax documents, wage to documents or anything if you generate, the employee can download the wage to documents. Employee garnishments or withholding orders, these are all we have to dis discuss, okay, how to record amendments. Apart from these, payroll input, just now we discussed, loan repayment is visible, loan payment is not visible. Costing allocations, if an employee get paid from two different cost centers. So here we will maintain the split. Cost center one 50%, cost center 50%. I will explain, just a walk through. Employee loan balance, if you have a report, if you have a report, we have to maintain, sorry. We will fetch here, loan balance. And then, yeah, that's all the tabs currently we have. Any questions until the session friends? These tabs is uh, visible to the employee or only for the administrators or based on the... Uh, by default, we allow the employee to view the tax selection stuff. Okay. Because they have to see how many dependents they declare, uh, what, are the ta what are the additional income they have uh, said, the additional income they are getting, how they're gonna, um, what do you call? Proceed with the tax, spouse together, single or married. So all the details, yeah, we will allow the employee to view. If your requirement is employee don't want to view, that is also possible, simple. The security team will, will remove the employee self-service and tax selections. But we should allow the employee to view the tax selections. So uh, one more doubt, like uh, uh, if we check, uh, uh, if we see about the loan details, some employees will have the loan details, some employees will not have the loan details. Yeah. In that also, based on the requirement or security rules, uh, we can. the loan details will be visible or it will not? Good question. So the, the loan repayments will be visible only if the employee has loan. If the employee doesn't have a loan, loan we can hide it. So that the security team will help us here. So whenever the employee is applying loan, so we will intimate to the security team that this tab has to uh, visible to the employee. Or... So two things here. One is ways of working, which means ways of working means will educate the employees. Don't mind if it's, I mean, uh, don't consider if you're seeing the loan balance. This is expected. If you are taking any loan, we will create a custom report. That report will bring and display here whatever loan you have taken and as of date how much you have paid, what is the outstanding loan balance. If, if you're seeing blank means you are not opting any loan, okay, this is ways of working, which means we and the employees are green. If we see value means you have taken loan, 
if you're not seeing if you're not seeing any value means you're not taken loan okay another what one yeah another one another one is strictly i don't want to display the loan balance if the employee has not taken the loan if this is your requirement we need a security help here man so i think what i understood is the best way that uh, giving the report every uh, like uh, whenever uh, uh, mm. the employee is taking the loan if we give the report then employee can able to see what is the balance amount and when it is going to end based from the exact direction exact right so up to client like loan balance okay. means most of the okay. times in real time if we think loan balance means it won't be visible for one employee or another employee it will be a, task uh, every time for the security correct so best option is always reporting but some customers will think why i have to pay additional additional billing for my reporting and all i will deal with uh, ways of work employee should reach out to the hr admin or finance team to get the loan details okay so both ways if i customize right to spend some more bucks <laughs> to get this feature fine we will configure if cost Customer is uh, no no we will we will uh, because this no integration required this value and we there is no impact on worker also correct just to know the what is the amount that withheld or outstanding the finance team also they can send through a mail yes right. yeah so, yeah thanks everyone please take care and stay safe see you tomorrow okay okay thank you thank, thank you thank you good day.